Hello everybody. This video will cover the method to making the insertion of previously translated text and time codes your very first step. Please do not use this method if you have already started a translation or even have finished your translation. The reason for that, because if you do, it will actually wipe out your translation. And, uh, and just very quickly, please double check your settings. Options, settings. Make sure auto backup is on every minute. Then click on OK. And if you lose your work, this is how you retrieve it. You go to File, Restore Auto Backup, and in this long list, you've even got the date and the time of when it was last saved. And all you do is click on the version that, uh, that you need to go back to before you ever made any changes that ruined your translation. Okay, now let's proceed. Remember, this importation only works if you're importing once. Okay, so let's go to File, Import Plain Text, and make sure your settings are on Split at Blank Lines, Remove Empty Lines, Remove Lines Without Letters. Click on Open Text File. Remember, I'm working with text files, so convert your files into text. And if you want to know what a text file should look like in order for this to work, you will need to go to another video. I should probably make a separate video for that, actually. Okay, do not click on Generate Time Codes because then the time codes will actually be wrong. We will be dealing with the time codes in the next step after this one. This is basically what it's going to look like in Subtitle Edit. Now we click on OK, and there it is. Some of you may think, oh, well, that's such a small introduction for all that effort. Well, yes, that may be true, but in saying that, there are also much, much longer introductions or even advertisements that um, are so much longer, so it will save you a lot of time. Not, and not only that, it's actually edited text and it will be the same introduction with the same exact uh, translation each and every time, and that's very important file. Now let's do the time codes. Go down to import time codes, left mouse button click. We actually need to get, go back to exactly the very same file. Intro, there we go. Look at that. I happen to know that these are the correct timings. Um, this is edited by someone else, our editor. And let's load this video because I want to show you what this translation, imported translation, will look like and show you that it actually is correctly timed. Here we go. There you go. Um, and uh, yep, so this was a text that has been edited by someone else and accepted, and now it's there. I hope this has helped you. Thank you very much, and keep in tune for forthcoming videos. Bye bye.